What's going on guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Scholars. Today I'm going to be going over five hitters that are sleepers in 2021. First off is Austin Meadows. Now this guy struggled a lot in 2020, but he's still a really good hitter. This is a guy who hit 33 home runs in 2019 and he also hit 291. He looked really good and last year he just completely fell off, but I still expect him to do really well in 2021. And you can get him super late in drafts for the value that you're going to get out of him. So his average draft position is 99th overall. For hitter, that's 64th. Left field, he's 15th. And right field, he's 20th. And this is a guy who is really, really solid. And I don't see him regressing again this season. I think he's going to bounce back like he did in 2019 and how good he was. And his hard hit rate last year was really interesting because 2019 it was 42.9%. And in 2020, it was 44%. So it actually went up last year, but he struggled overall. But again, last year was really strange, and I expect him to bounce back. Up next is Dylan Moore. Now, this guy has a great mix of power and speed. This is a guy that can hit 20-plus homers and steal 20-plus bases. And I really like him because he's still... He's popped up on several lists, I think. I've talked to several people, and they're like, yeah, Dylan Moore this year, but he's still kind of going at a really low value because they don't know if he's going to be necessarily the starter for the Mariners at second base, but I think he will, and where you can get him, he can be really, really good. Last season, he had eight home runs. He stole 12 bases, and his average went from 206 to 255. So I really like Dylan Moore this season. I think he'd be really sneaky. You can get him at 138 overall, which is for hitter is 87th. Second base, he's 15th, and then he also plays a left and right field, so that's really nice. Dylan Moore. Up next is a guy who's definitely a sleeper and a guy you can really get under the radar is Nick Senzel. Now, he's a former top prospect for the Reds. I guess he's still considered a top prospect, and he has kind of struggled, you know, kind of getting used to the majors, but he still has that power and speed combo that... I think he could develop into a really solid player in, let's see, it was in 20, so in 127 games, he was on pace um, to hit 20 home runs and steal 18 bags. That was actually in 2019, but he's played a total of 127 games. So that was really nice. He did get hurt, and they obviously didn't play um, 162 games, but so he needs to stay healthy. But this is a guy who really can bounce back, and you can get him super late. Like, super late. Because in 2019, I do want to mention that he did hit 12 home runs, and he stole 14 bags, which is um, really good because he had 375 at-bats. But, yeah, he needs to stay healthy. But you can get him extremely late. We're talking, like, the 200th overall. Um, for center fielders, he is 47th overall. So you can get him super late and stash him. Up next, we have Ryan McMahon. This is a guy you can get really late also, and he has got a lot of potential to be a really big power hitter. In 2019, he hit 24 home runs. Really nice. He plays in Coors Field. He's going to really do well in that Rockies lineup. I know their lineup is kind of plated, and you're like, ah, oh, where's what is Ryan McMahon going to do that? Well, he's going to hit middle of the order, so that's kind of nice. And again, this Coors Field, so he's going to hit bombs. He hit 24 in 2019, and I could see him hitting close to 30 this year, maybe getting like 75-plus RBIs, and he should probably hit around 250, so kind of keep an eye on that. You're not going to really get a high average with him, but playing at Coors Field, Ryan McMahon is a guy you need to look at. And last, we have Paul DeYoung, the shortstop for the Cardinals. Now, first off, he's a really, really good defender. So he's going to be on that Cardinals lineup sheet every day because he is really good defensively. And now we have Arenado on the Cardinals, so that's really nice. And Paul DeYoung is still going to be hitting fifth or sixth in the lineup, so that's really nice. And this is a guy who in 2019, he hit 30 home runs. And he can swipe a few bags. Maybe he can get 10 steals. But, you know, you should target around like 8 to 10 for him, so that's kind of nice, and he can hit 25 plus home runs. In fact, throughout his career, 427 games, which is about four years, because he was hurt and then just didn't play all the games, but um, he hit 77 home runs. So that's nice to see. He's got the pop, and he can do that this season in 2021. You can get him 
really late and can be a really good steal for where you're going to get him. Average job position is 228 overall. Hitter, that's 138 in shortstop. He is 28th overall. That is a steal for the value you could get with Paul DeYoung. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.